price of food stars have been increasing every month from February this year, and these are seen many Kenyans experience at times. According to Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, the inflation rate increased from 5.1% in February to 5.6% in March. In April, the consumer price index increased by 0.9% from an index of 120.14 in March to 122.17, leaving the inflation rate at 6.5%. The inflation rate raised to 7.1% in May and 7.9% in June. The rise in inflation has been mainly due to increase in prices of commodities like foodstuffs, fuel and household equipment. The cost of food in Kenya increased by 12.4% in May this year for the same month in the previous year and by 13.8% in June. Transport index increased by 0.9% between May and June and this was mainly attributed to increase in prices of diesel and petrol that rose by 6.8% and 6.0% respectively. Amidst these tough times brought about by the economic crisis, which has resulted to high cost of living, with the common manainji required to dig deeper into their pockets so as to sustain their daily needs. Kenyan parents are expected to take their children back to school this week, just after attending all day. In efforts to seek parents' views about the situation at Gidhuguri in Nairobi County, I have met Jen Mora, who sells Mandazi, to cater for her needs as well as those of her children. Her worry is how she will take her daughter back to school, as she is required to pay this term school fees, as well as providing transport costs for her daughter. Watoto walitoka shule juzi saisi wamerudi. Sasa tunasikia kama wazazi ni gharama sana kwa sababu maisha imekuwa juu, unga iko juu, kila kitu iko juu. Na vile walikuja wanahitaji kukula, wanahitaji kuoga kila kitu. Sasa tunasikia ma, kwamba maisha imetulemea kabisa na wanarudi shule na tujii kwamba tutatoa wapi school fees maana hata ya first time watujamaliza. Simon Muteti, who sells window glasses at Gidunguri, says that as a parent, he feels pressured by the situation. I have two children, one who is in primary, one who is in secondary. As a mother, I have a lot of work to do, because I have a lot of work to do, and I have a lot of work to do, and I have a lot of work to do. So, I have a lot of work to do, because I have a lot of work. Kwa sababu hakuna njia ile tunaweza sema pia biashara hiyo ziko chini maisha pia yako chini uh, unakuta kwamba kuna uzito mkubwa sana kama tungeulizwa tu ngeambia serikali at least waongeze mwezi mwingine mmoja angalau tu tumejipanga kwa sababu ya watoto kurudishwe Other parents have also expressed similar views, showing how much stress they are. Niko na watoto shule, kumekuwa na ugumu sana wa maisha kwa sababu ya isi shule. Una, umepereka mtoto shule, kama mimi niko na wawiri secondary na mmoja college. Hawa wawiri wa secondary, kila, kila, mwe, kila mwaka kwa isi miaka bili, sasa simefuatana, tunakuwa na tamuine. Na hizo tamuine, inafika mahari unakuwa wakati wamefunga wanafunga tu siku kumi peke yake wakifunga hizo siku kumi unapata hizo siku kumi unafaa utafute school fees utafute fare wakikuja bado wanafaa wakule hiyo ndiyo unga hiyo iko juu ni 200 kwingine ni 220 na kwa hivyo inakuwa maisha imeturemea sana kwa sababu kama saa hii nikishuka mtu naweza shuka mtu mmoja ama nikose na huyo mtu mmoja anilipe 300 ama 400 inakuwa ni ngumu sana kwangu kuhikimu mahitaji yangu na hata mahitaji ingine hata ya kulipa nyumba kama hii ni lento hii lumu ni lento na ninafaa nilipe mwenyewe lazima atake pesa yake naitwa Bichi Simwende mimi ni mkaji wa Kibunguri utawala Mbakasi eh ile tunaweza sema uchumi uko juu so in short kila kitu iko juu ndio hizo shule zinatungoja una watu walifunga 10 days sasa hizi wanaenda kufungua wanahitaji school fees enyewe tuseme mimi kama mzazi inatukaza 
inatukaza sana maisha iko juu according to jen mora the government and politicians in general no longer mind the needs of the common mwananchi ndio naweza sema siasa inaweza kuwa imechangia pia yaunga kwa sababu hao wana siasa wao hawafeel hii maisha yenye tunafeel labda wao wako na pesa walikuwa wamechekea ndio waweza kufanya kampeni sao. Na hata hizo kampeni zao mimi nikumbuka wakati wa kitambo kampeni ilikuwa ikifanywa at least ulikuwa unapewa hata unga. Siku hizi hata hakuna unga. Wanakuja tu wanakuambia eh hey, mimi nataka kupewa kupata kura hapa. Utanipigia kura alafu wanasema tutakuja na hakuna kitu wanatupea. Sasa tunasikia ni kama wao pia wamechangia maisha hiko. Her sentiments were supported by other parents who were experiencing the burden of taking their children back to school this week amid the hard economic situation. Mimi ningewaomba wapige siasa ya kwamba watatutengenezea mambo lakini si ile wanatuhaidianga ya mdomo ikifika wakati wa tumewachagua wakishaenda huko hata watukumbuki tena. Na sana sana unapatanga wakati eh, wa kampeni kama huu. Kila mtu ako na namba ya muheshimiwa lakini wakati ataingia huko ndani hata tukumbuka tena. Mimi sasa nashangaa sana ni kwa sababu huyo muheshimiwa anafaa awe mtumishi kwa watu wale ambao amewapata ame yani wale ambao wamemchagua lakini badala ya kuwa mtumishi wao ndio wanamtumikia siasa pia ni kama zime affect kila kitu chakula iko juu maisha iko juu sana mtoto kirudi nyumbani lazima wakule mtoto lazima wavae lakini unakuta kwamba tuta just tu maisha tunakusukumana naye kwa sababu ni yetu tu imetupata tunamshukuru Mungu. Walisema wanapunguza bia unga baadhi wa kupunguza. There's no way wanapunguza na tubo kuunga yenye ilikuwa 120 bado inabaki 200. So hakuna kitu wamepunguza hapo. Kuangalia sana sana sana. Na hizo shule pia vile walisema wameongezea school fees wapunguze. Elizabeth Maina, who is a hairdresser, says her business has been impacted by the economic crisis, and this has affected her life as she depends on the small business for her children's school fees and for survival. Mimi jina yangu naitwa Elizabeth Maina. Eh, ninafanya kazi hii ya salon. Na ndio inanihitimu kwa maisha yangu. Niko na watoto shule. Niko na kazi ambayo ninafanya na dio hii na siku hizi kazi imekuwa dogo ni kwa sababu maisha imekuwa juu sana unga imekuwa juu mpaka watu wenye wanashukwa wana hizi nywele wanakuwa hawapatikani sana ni kwa sababu huwezi kuja kushukwa nywele kama hujakuna chakula ya kula kwa hivyo inaonekana wakati wamepata kama mtu amepata shilingi mbili anashindwa kukuja kushukwa kwa sababu an, hiyo siringi 200 dio anafaa anunue unga hana pesa ya mboga hana pesa ya nini kwa hivyo inakuwa maisha iko juu sana the inflation has indeed affected many parents those who depend on small scale businesses for survival now express the difficulties they are experiencing during this week at the school to reopen kulingana na mimi kama mfanyabiashara hata customer wakiingia hapa ukimwambia bei ya unga unasikia anateta unaona at the end of it unapata ametoka amen amesema ah naenda kula mchele tena mchele unajui aishibishi kwa sababu customer anaingia hapa anatoka kama alikuwa na 1000 alikuwa anataka vitu kama unga mbili na sukari unapata ameno unga moja maybe na sukari kote pia biashara kama mzazi hii biashara ni changamoto kwa sababu unajui yangu ni biashara ya vio lazima usubiri nyumba ishe ipakwe rangi mpaka kitambo ipakwe rangi kuna miezi kama tuseme kama miezi sita namna hiyo Since last year the school calendar has seen learners in primary and secondary school levels half what times per year and parents now say this has been a burden to them. Mimi nashangaa. Ita hizi tamu kwa wakati wa kitambo ilikuwa tamu mbili una tatu kwa mwaka. Na wakifunga unapewa muda at least kidogo ya kutafuta pesa. Sasa hata unashangaa ya kutafuta pesa muda ni gani na ya ku rudisha mtoto shule ni gani kwa sababu hauna wakati kila wakati unaona wamefunga siku kumi. hizo siku kumi unahitajika pesa 
wamesoma miezi mbili hiyo miezi mbili wameifanya ikuwe miezi tatu kwa hivyo hata na shangaa serikali yetu inatuangaliaje kulingana na ile maisha tunapitia kwa sababu kama kitambo ilikuwa miezi tatu e, kwa kwa tamu alafu tunafunga mwezi mmoja kwa hivyo ilikuwa inaonekana tulikuwa walikuwa wanasoma miezi tisa na hiyo miezi ingine ni ya kupumzika hiyo ya kupumzika at least ungepata pesa ya kunini ya kutafuta yani ungekuwa na nafasi ya kutafuta pesa zako lakini saa hii upati ni kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ukiangalia kama hii mwaka ninaona ni kama watoto watasoma miezi tano. na hiyo miezi tano tumelipa tamu ine. Sasa hiyo ninashangaa. Alafu ikifika ni kwa fea ya kutoa mtoto pahali anasomea. Kama watoto wetu wengi hawasomei hapa. Kama mmoja wangu anasomea nyeri, mwingine anasomea dagureti. Kwa hivyo kila tamu ikiisha ndio mimi huyo ninapigiwa simu tuma fea. Ndio mimi huyo natuma. Tamu kabla ijaisha kuko na siku ya half term. Half term bado unaambiwa tuma fea rudi na mtoto akirudi anataka pesa anataka shopping yani mpaka inakuwa ngumu kiasi ya kwamba mzazi hata anashindwa kama ni mtoto aache shule ama ni afanye nini Mi, mimi kama mzazi nafinyika kwa sababu niko na mtu wa primary na niko na mtu wa secondary so hizo hizo school fees zote zinatuhitaji na tuseme saizi hakuna pesa hata hakuna job maisha irudi kama kitambo kwa sababu kitambo tulikuwa tunapewa allowance ya masiku ya kuchipanga ili uweze kutafuta school fees one week uweze kutafuta school fees kwa sababu utauza nini kwa sababu maisha sahihi ni ngumu utauza nini ndio uweze ku raise hiyo school fees kama watoto wa secondary watoto wakifika shule wanafukuzwa wanarudia warudi kama mimi mtoto wangu anasoma huko mapei asumbi girls na unapata sasa hiyo lazima ulipe transport mtoto akuje au kuna mahali ataenda unatafuta transport unatafuta ya kuja na kurudi school fees ndio hiyo wakifika shule wamepewa ukienda shule ukilia school fees kabla hujaingia kwa kombonde ya shule sasa inakuwa ni gharama hata unaovia utampeleka shule aende afukuze tena ulipie school fees transport ya kurudi kwa hivyo maisha ni ngumu The Kenya school term dates, timetable and calendar was affected by the outbreak of COVID-19 early 2020. Schools are reopening this week for the second term, which is expected to end on 16 September. Reporting for CAC TV, my name is Nicholas Kivite.